They're pretty far south, so I assume they must be migrating. Sarah's really proud of her little scoots. Picked them up at Aldi, thanks to her mom. She was jealous of my Crocs that I've had since the AT. Now he's jealous of my lined scoots. I am, fur lined. That's pretty nice. It's around eight something now. So we're just hanging out, charging up on solar. It's just a really nice place to be. There are a few species of ducks, but it does say down here that loons winter in Alabama commonly. So those could have been loons, actually. Wouldn't that be loony? Tune in for more. We're moving. Let's go. What are you making for dinner? A mess. Egg salad, the traditional way. Oh, that's exactly what I thought it was. Mm. Okay, let's cut to the one where I do it really well. Look, what the heck, and do not steal my egg now, leave it. Okay, we're doing this over. been at this site for two days now and been on the road for two other days or three or two. <laughs> a man's got a shower. You wipe with a wet rag, <laughs> then you wipe with a soapy rag, then you wipe with a wet rag again. Okay, great. Y'all got that? <laughs> and you have the heater on blast because... Oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. <laughs> feels good. <laughs> Yesterday on our grocery run, we picked up some fuel for the backpacking stove, a gigantic fuel. This is the first time I've ever purchased one, but uh, that'll let us do morning coffee for Tara and other reheat options since we don't yet have a propane stove. And we are doing it inside, but we've got plenty of ventilation and a carbon monoxide detector just in case. This is fire cider. I'm not gonna act like I'm super familiar with it, but I learned about it this year through my sister and some other people, and just so happened to have all of the ingredients to make it, like apple cider vinegar and citrus and rosemary from the garden. Uh, so it has been four weeks. I'm gonna strain out the goods to just leave the fire cider part, but you're also able to eat the pickled parts that you strain out. So I'm what excited. Does it do? Ah, that's a great question. It's supposed to help boost immunity, especially in like sniffly seasons, uh, like the winter we have coming on. Joe be gonna try some fire cider. I don't know, it's pretty strong. <laughs> I just did it. Actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> just don't smell it. Woo, it's got a kick. <laughs> Is it a fiery kick? Fiery, citrusy, oniony. Mm-hmm. It's actually really good. This is like V8, but better. 
This place has been incredible. It's got recycling and litter and then a water fill up so that we can help replenish some of our tank. Bathrooms. Bathrooms that were heated when it was colder. Beautiful river, so many blue herons. Yada yada blah blah. We're sad to go, but we're so stinking grateful to have stayed. I looked at our water tank. We used, I'd say, I'd guess like 40% of it. And I think it's a 10 gallon water tank. So this is a five gallon water bag. So that should refill anything we've used. And Joe should drink more water. We're back in the land of cotton. Oh, we're not back. We were never here before. We're, we're in, in the land, land of cotton. cotton. So this is the general shape that Joe's beard gets from mask wearing. Since we've been in a house for like eight months, we didn't know that, but <laughs> for a good two weeks now, it's just been... What's up? You're so pretty. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. It's open today. wild how wide these walls are they're like huge thermal batteries right now it's really cool next to the rocks i'd imagine in the late afternoon after it's been sunny it's probably really warm welcome to the high point on trail in alabama i think 800 feet 800 feet 800 whole feet and what have you we're sucking air up here it is pretty though no respect for property. We are at Bear Creek Mound, uh -huh. which can only mean one thing. We've made it to Mississippi. Welcome to Mississippi. Mississippi. <laughs> we might be staying here for the night. So we were gonna do real showers on the side of the camper and instead we did dry showers. We're gonna call them with some dry shampoo, which definitely took the grease away. But Joe's got an evolution of his relationship with dry shampoo since a few hours ago. Run your fingers through your hair, bud. How can I? It's like sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a scarecrow. I can go weeks comfortably with greasy hair, but one day with this and I already want to shower. But it looks better. Who are we seeing? <laughs> Never again. Well, we found a little stealth spot to stay at last night. Pull off that's a little further off the parkway. You can see the parkway goes up behind us. And it looks like we're on some sort of waterway here. We'll have to check it out. One thing I'm noticing about the front of the camper, it is like a cemetery for bugs. Sad. Time to get up. So this is a navigable section 
between the Gulf of Mexico and the Tennessee River. We've been seeing these things pass on the Tennessee River from quite a distance. I don't think I've ever seen one this close. There's where we slept. And there is a gigantic barge going by. So this is the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway. And there's a lock just north of here on the river. So I'm thinking that must be a huge lock. So it turns out the locks are 110 feet wide by 600 feet long. That's crazy. That allows an eight barge tow, three barges wide, three barges long. And then that ninth slot is taken by the actual tow boat, which you can sort of see there, but not really, there's a tree. So I just looked on the map and it looks like there's a road that goes over closer to the lock. So we're gonna drive it and see if we can get a look at this huge lock up close. Hopefully it's not locked up. Morning. Something smells like butt. <laughs> That's a lock. This one's in the middle of the stinking grass. Look how tiny this thing is. Look! Wow. Hello, pretty. We are at the far mounds, which Ironically, we're not too far from our campsite last night. So these are burial mounds that the nomadic Native Americans would stop by at as they were traveling to bury their dead with their possessions. Let's just take a look. It's pretty incredible. We're leaving the far burial mounds. There's not as much to see coming up, so we're gonna try to make slightly better mileage and get to a campground down the road and hopefully get some showers too. I thought there were only two mounds here, but Tara said she found a third. This is a mound for ants. <laughs> Coming to you from a top Jeff Busby campground park place. <laughs> park place. Highest point on the trace, potentially, or at least in Mississippi on the trace. We'll check that for you. Today we came out from looking at ceremonial mounds and burial mounds of indigenous people to seeing news that Biden pulled ahead with 284 electoral points. So anything could happen, of course, but right now it seems like officially Trump will not be coming back, which is the best news that we could have gotten today, which marks the end of our first week on the road. On the road. And it was interesting to hear that news while learning about Native American culture along this trail and enjoying public lands. It just kind of highlights the important part that politics plays 
in access to these lands and hmm. the people that were pushed off of these lands. And the people who were enslaved along these lands to run the stands that provided trade and all this other stuff through the ages. Well, we're working on some dinner now. Heating up some lentils that we made a while back. So we need to eat them and they're delicious anyway. Why not? <laughs> So this is our first time in a more traditional campground. This is a free one, which is awesome, but it's a little different. There's a lot more people around. Some of the big rigs run their generators at night and in the day. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, different vibe, but still really nice. It's kind of like a little neighborhood and people are super friendly. Right now we're just doing some breakfast. We met some really cool people that have hiked the AT and wrote a book about it. And they brought us over some trail magic in the form of some really nice honey bread. Thank it's you really so good. Thank you so much, Landa. Well, we're back on the road again. Left our campsite in our friendly neighborhood. We're getting ready to head out to a little hike into a bald cypress swamp. Let's check it out. Bald cypress. Got little knees coming up out of the water. Really wide bases so they can actually stand up in the mud in the swamp. Driving south, just past the big reservoir, and now we're right next to Jackson, Mississippi. You can tell there's a city nearby because there's a lot more traffic on the trace, and people are driving really fast. Seems like it's more of a throughway. Also, the road is like boom, boom, yeah, the <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> road's really rough too. Kind of fun. It looks like some crazy damage from either like hurricane remnants or something, but the old Cypress, old Cypress area. It was complete Closed wreckage. off. We're kind of powering through this section and getting south to Rocky Springs campsite for the night, which is another free campsite. So hopefully they'll have enough space for us. Yesterday was pretty crowded at the other site. We'll see. Do you know where we are? Oh uh, yeah, right there. Camp for the night. Rocky Springs campground is another free campground. I think it's huge, and we got a parking spot away from the generators. Woo! Now we're gonna take a little stroll. So these restrooms are closed, but apparently someone has broken into them before. What you doing? Oh, guacamole for dinner. Guac for dinner. We got fresh cilantro I'm excited about. We got onions we gotta use. We got five freaking quados, olive oil, a bunch of stuff. Sweet. Well, it's more like savory, but I am excited about it. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. Quack, quack, quack. So this is how our little table works right now. This is the piece that goes in front of the little step-up area. It sits out on this drawer and it's a perfect little table. Works pretty well. <laughs> 